Hey everyone, I uh, just want to do a quick demo of the uh, Clover Mini 2 that we have hooked up and configured with Ginger here. Just a little bit about the Clover. Um, so it's the Mini 2 device, as I just said. Uh, we have it connected just to power right here. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, it's completely wireless, which for those of you who have those wired Ingenico terminals right now, the touchscreen one, um, or the IPP350, uh, you know that you, know, you don't have to connect it with the ethernet cable anymore. And I'll show you this. We'll go into our admin panel. We can go into the internet connection. You can see it's connected to our Ginger Wi-Fi right here. Uh, that's gonna be super nice. The device is actually battery powered as well, so you can take it off of the power for a certain amount of time and still use it, which is pretty cool. Um, we'll go back here. We'll hop into customer mode. Um, to exit customer mode, you can see we can just tap on all four corners of the screen at the same time. Uh, we'll go into our main customer mode screen here. This is customizable with your uh, company logo or any image you want. You can send that to Card Connect. And then a little bit about the device itself. Um, we have a way to swipe the card across the top or insert it. And um, the device also does have an integrated receipt printer. That functionality is not quite set up with Ginger quite yet uh, to be continued there. Um, but let's go ahead and run a transaction and see what this looks like. So I've got a couple of things in my shopping cart here. Go ahead and check out with payment and select my credit card payment method. You can see the Clover is showing up here. Just like any of our other terminals, I can uh, choose to push the transaction to the Clover and you can see uh, some of our screens coming up and it already looks super nice um, compared to some other terminal experiences. We'll go ahead and confirm our total there where we can now see our tip options. We have a very clear option to skip the tip, which is uh, gonna be a nice addition. Um, that's based off of some customer feedback. Uh, we can choose to add the tip here. That add tip button lights up. Again, super, super clear and easy to understand. We'll add our tip and we can see that that tip amount shows up on Ginger. That's nothing new, but uh, when you're working with the customer from the other screen, that's nice to see. We have our terminal, our Clover set up to confirm the amount. That's a customizable option. Um, I'll go ahead and confirm that. And here we're presented with the payment screen. So uh, we can see that it's telling us we can either swipe, insert, or use one of our contactless options. So some cards have that contactless chip built in, but it also supports services like Apple Pay, Google Pay, Samsung Pay, and more. Um, we'll go ahead and insert the card here. We're gonna process, super speedy, tells us when to remove the card and uh, we can go ahead and sign if that, again, this is a customizable option as well. Uh, we have the bolt set up to do that. And boom, our payment's already complete. We can view the invoice and just like you'd expect, we can see that the payment's been captured and everything is uh, complete.